I'm just saying that I assisted people who were like, hey, which way does this trail go? How far is the trail going? And I was like, well, <laughs> we planned for this. Let me assist you. I busted out my map and I was like, oh, if you go to the left, because I already know all this because I didn't research. What else did I do? Hey, do you have something else good? No, nope, that was it. Okay, just checking. Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe it's good evening. Honestly, it's hard to tell. The sun never actually sets here. What is it, like two o'clock now? I'm Kate, and this is DJ. <laughs> We've been zigzagging across the North American continent in our home on wheels in search of adventure. Oh. We made it! We are right there. Today we find ourselves in the Portage Valley of Alaska. We came here on a mission to experience a glacier from our paddle boards, but Mother Nature had other plans. Yeah, there's a huge forest fire going on and it's like 33,000 acres are on fire right now. The dense smoke made that adventure impossible. So oh, we've no ditched way. our paddles and strapped on a pair of hiking shoes to check a very uniquely Alaskan experience off our bucket list. Yeah, so it's hand trim. Okay. okay. So here's the deal. Our plan is to hike Winter Creek Trail, uh, which we hear is good for today because it's easy <laughs> and because we've heard that it has a hand trap. Hold on. See? Hand trap. As in, like that. That's how we're going to do it. Is I that, think. Is I don't that know. how it works? I don't actually know how they work. <laughs> Not a clue. But I'm going to find out. And I'm what if it's over like it. a really sketchy section of river or something. Then I'm going to make you go first. Yeah. yeah. If you're wondering what a hand tramp is exactly, it's pretty simple. Early settlers used a cart attached to a pulley system to get themselves and supplies across Alaska's deep gorges and raging rivers. But today, what was once an essential form of transportation is now just a ridiculous amount of fun. And in typical Alaskan style, if you need a little help getting across, sorry, we're really heavy. There's always someone willing to lend a hand. Kind of light workout. That mess will get your heart rate up. <laughs> Holy cow. What do you see? Shit's right on the trail. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, oh, oh. The trail. Oh, he's so wildly. Adventure is a lot like life. It doesn't always go according to plan, and sometimes it's in the simple moments that we can find the most joy. So everyone left us. <laughs> we got here earlier. We helped all these people across, and now there's nobody to help us. There's nobody to help us. I just uh -huh. really worried that the door behind me is clear. It's locked. It's a pretty long ways down now. <laughs> Thank you! We never did get the chance to paddleboard next to a glacier, but we did find a way to put the midnight sun to good use. What? 
an insanely wonderful, magnificent way to end an awesome day. I mean, look at this. There's a glacier with a waterfall. We're on beautiful blue water, glacier runoff full of rock flower. The sun is just putting this soft light on everything and we get to enjoy all of it. Man, you know, sometimes things get tough. It's hard to travel full time, but it's moments like these and days like this where you think, how could you ever, ever live any other way? Thank you.